fired within I would say 20 minutes there were there were hundreds of police here uh, and they literally ran through the gates uh, to to reinforce those that were already there uh, and now we've seen the army come in as well as I say with these uh, armored personnel carriers and I can see it, it looks quite cloudy so maybe there's been tear gas fired certainly these police are, are carrying tear gas so uh, in some ways they've tried to push them back uh, but as I speak to you, I can still see things coming over the fence. So it's clear that it looks like rocks and sticks and buttons and things are being thrown over. And just as we speak, the police are going in now with plastic shields uh, to stand at the front. And there's more tear gas. Yeah, the tear gas is being fired now. I can see that going in uh, as they try to push them back. Not entirely surprising, I have to say, because remember, a lot of these people had hurried to the border crossing, thinking that they would get through before the new emergency law came in and many of them would be doubly frustrated, I suppose, that they just missed the deadline and had been kept there for two days. They slept outside overnight. Many of them didn't want to go away to refugee centres on the Serbian side. Uh, they had a sit-in on the road, uh, and they said they would stay on the tarmac as long as it took. Um, and clearly, I guess, in the heat, we're sort of mid-afternoon now, and as I say, it's very hot. Uh, obviously, emotions have boiled over, and, and they've, they've had enough. So... Uh, we're watching it, um, but as I say, no refugees coming through at the moment. They've been pushed back by the police who are firing this tear gas.